Hello, hello, hello everybody, wherever you are in the world, I hope you're well. Just please do excuse me while my eyes are down, I'm just sharing this to another page. I'll be with you in two seconds. Here we go. And there we are. Guys, I hope you are well, I hope you've, hey Farina, good to see you, I hope you've had a, an amazing day, we're doing whatever it is that you're doing. Devinda, good to see you, thank you very much for joining me. Uh, so my name is Kul Mahay, I am the Immersion Coach and I just wanted to just check in with you because it's been a few days since I've uh, done a, a broadcast. just wanted to check in with you today to remind you that we're now into October. We've literally just come into October and we are now in the 10th month of the year which means now that there are three more months left in the year. Three whole months, three whole months where you can do amazing things. And what have you done today? Have you been concentrating on all the things that you can be doing? Have you looked back, have you thought back on the goals that you set yourself some nine months ago, some ten months ago when you started this year? What were those goals? Were you thinking that you were going to have better health? Did you think that you were going to do better at work? Perhaps you were thinking about your relationships, that you're going to improve a relationship or, or get into a relationship. Or make more money. Whatever it was, that goal that you set yourself this year, what were those goals? And have you revisited those goals? And if you have revisited those goals, and you're now in a stage where you are thinking, oh my goodness, I've allowed 10 months of the year to pass, to pass, and I still haven't done anything towards my goals. And perhaps you're feeling a bit, bit down with yourself, a bit disappointed with yourself. Perhaps you're feeling in, in despair even. It's quite normal for you to think like that. Many is a time when I've set myself a goal and I've literally not achieved that goal. I've just not moved forward with that goal. I've not moved forward at the pace or the speed that I wanted to towards that goal. And I've been so, so disappointed with myself. Well, I'm here to say to you today, don't stress. Don't beat yourself up because the more you do that, the less you are likely to achieve any progress towards your goal at all, whatsoever. So, what do you do? Remind yourself that you still have a quarter of the year to go. You've got a whole quarter of the year. Only three quarters of the year have yet passed. And I still have goals and I'm, you know, behind my camera here is my vision board and I was reviewing my vision board earlier on. On my vision board I also have my written goals and I have the visualization of my goals on my vision board. And I set myself a number of goals at the start of this year, 21 to be precise. I had 21 goals at the beginning of this year. Some of them were personal, some of them were professional. And as I'm looking through, I'm thinking, wow. I've achieved so much this year. I've achieved such a large percentage of the 21 goals that I set, set for myself. Do you think I was beating myself up for those goals that I haven't achieved? No. My mindset is such that I reframe everything. I only look at the positive. And I said to myself, oh my God, it's amazing. It's amazing that I've achieved all the things that I said I was going to achieve in terms of my family, in terms of my, my, my profession, my goals, my business. I've achieved so much and yes there are still those that are yet to be achieved. So let me talk through some of the key significant um, achievements of, uh, of mine this year. Well at the start of this year I launched my event called Ignite Your Inner Potential. That was only way back in January and it feels like forever and it's now become one of the fastest growing inner leadership events in the United Kingdom and we are in discussions about taking it international. And on the back of that, I'm creating my first ever uh, speakers course, which is going to be in November in Derby. And I am able now to be able to teach other speakers, not just how to speak confidently from the stage and get their message across, but I'm also going to be able to t teach them how to create success successful events. Now that wasn't even in my goals. That's as a result, a direct result of me creating Ignite Your Inner Potential.
So sometimes you don't achieve the goals that you set yourself only because bigger things start coming along as a result of you having achieved some of your goals. Does that resonate with you? Have you been in that position before where you've set yourself something, you've set yourself a, 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 an, an aim and because you start achieving that aim, some other opportunity comes along and you say, well, I'll follow that opportunity. So when you are reviewing your goals, also look at those whole new things that have come along that you hadn't even catered for. I hadn't catered for Create and Speak, but it's happened and I am now taking it on. The other thing that's happened as a result of Ignite Your Inner Potential is that I've been able to create a, a training event called Ignite Inner Potential purely for companies. And I'm very pleased to say that in November, I've just finished a telephone call where we've confirmed that in November, I will be training a high-end hairdressing company uh, of 25 staff and they will be trained on Ignite Inner Potential, the values, the principles of Ignite Inner Potential to help them move their business forward and create a cult an empowered culture within their organization and hopefully lead to better performance. So this was a yet another thing that I hadn't catered for. Now there were so many things that I had catered for that I have achieved. So let me talk through some of the personal events. I was going to, my nephew was going to get married and that was way back in, I think it was back in May or June or July now. It seems so long ago, but that was a successful wedding. Uh, and for me personally, only this weekend gone, I was truly, truly blessed to see my daughter getting married and it was a momentous occasion for everybody involved. And I am now a father-in-law and this was also on my vision board and that's come to fruition as well. My business has gone from strength to strength. I am talking to people around the world. I have, uh, I have clients coming into my business. It is all very, very good, but it takes work. It takes hard work and it takes focus, laser shot focus. I very often talk about my three C's of success and those are that you have to be consistent. You have to be consistent every single day. There's no point in showing up one week and then you know, giving it up the next week and then showing up again the week after. You have to be consistent and the consistency of your, of your actions needs to be in alignment with the goals that you set yourself. You need to be constant. You need to be at it all the time. You cannot afford to dip. You have to be all the time. You have to be on your game. You have to have that level of passion. It's a passion that drives that constancy of your effort. And finally, you have to be concerted. You need to be laser sharp focused on the activities that you take throughout the day. You need to be laser sharp focused on your goals and laser sharp focused on the actions that you take. I call that living life intentionally. Everything that I do every day is on purpose. Everything that I do every single day is a conscious action that I take. And I'm thinking it through, I make sure it's intentional and I make sure it's in an alignment with where I want to get, when, where I want to, get to, whether it's personal or private or, or professional. And it works for me. And those, what, those are the three C's that I tend to follow throughout my day. So what, uh, what can you do now of the next three months? You've got a quarter of the year to go. Please don't beat yourself up. You've got a quarter of the year to go. What are you going to do with that quarter of the year? You see, we can waste that time just beating ourselves up and saying we wasted the other nine months. But actually what you tend to do, when you do that, you'll waste the last quarter of the year as well. So, starting today, write down some really achievable actions that you can achieve, that you can take towards your goal over the next three months. Now I know we've got Christmas coming up, but hey, that's no excuse not to be powering forward. Christmas is an event to be celebrated, but that should be no excuse for you, for you to not be working towards your goals. And if you are going to write any kind of an action plan, make sure your action plan is smart. Make sure it's specific, that you know what actions you're going to take, you know what goal you're going to move towards. Make sure that it's measurable. Make sure that you can measure the monitor uh, uh, your, your progress and know that you are progressing in the right direction. And make sure it's achievable. Don't just set, set yourself some goal that is, or some actions and sets of actions that you know deep down in your heart that you can't do. So make sure it's achievable. Make sure it's realistic. And make sure that it's time bound. Make sure you know over what specific periods of time you're going to carry out these actions. And also know what your milestones are and what the dates are for your milestones. You see, the moment you start putting timelines into your actions, what you do, you create a sense of urgency. 
at a conscious and subconscious level, you are creating that sense of urgency. You know, you know that you're moving towards a specific date and you've got to get things done. So break that goal down into several milestones and give each one of those milestones a specific date and end by day. That's how we do project management. When I was a senior police officer and I was leading all sorts of projects around the organization, we did everything around the PRINCE2 methodology. And that in essence is knowing what your goal is and breaking all the actions and that take you towards your goal and putting them into some kind of a timeline. And, and then you check that timeline. When you get to that date, you say to yourself, have I, have I taken all these actions that I said I was going to take? So guys, you've still got three months. You've still got a quarter of the year to go. If you haven't smashed any of your goals, then at least smash some of your goals. If you haven't achieved anything in your life, then achieve, you can still achieve something in your life right now. So there you go. One quarter of the year yet to go. Make sure it's your best quarter. If you feel de-energized, pick yourself up, take a deep breath and say, right, this is like the home run now. Make that sprint, speed up, start doing things, be, be, be concerted, be constant and be consistent in your effort. I hope that's been useful for you. Uh, I look forward to seeing you again. And uh, for the time being, wish you all the best. God bless you all and have a great day. Bye bye.